Hello, hello, hello. I am so happy. I am so freaking happy. I managed to go into my GP surgery and the lift that they have there fits this in. And so I was able to go upstairs to my actual GP's you know, make an appointment for my blood test. So instead of, this is, a, this is huge. This is absolutely, massively, hugely, totally, completely something that's um, completely and totally amazing to me. For four years. I have had my doctors, my GPs and that and the district nurse come to my house. Now I can go to appointments, go to actual appointments and actually I'm almost in fucking tears here. It's going, it's kind of crazy. This is like, oh my, I, this is. As a disabled person, regaining this kind of independence is amazing. I'm, I'm heading, I'm heading up into. Um, I'm going to go, go to actual the shop again. Why not? I can go twice, two days in a row. Why not? I'm... I'm free. I'm free in a way that I never was before for so long. For, well, for basically my entire life. This mobile safe space is just absolutely amazing. I never thought I'd be able to do that. Going to that GP was surgery has always been a something I've always felt guilty about it taking up their resources taking up their valuable time after surgery to come see me at home um, having to organize the district nurse who are always busy to actually come to where I am It's, it's just, I find it very hard to actually put into words just how important and groundbreaking it is that I, to do that. across here
I am just... totally mellowed out and freaked out and about what I've just done. It's just another goal that I've just surpassed, something that I never would have thought I was able to do. Because right. So this is going this is an interesting one here. Just through that. We. just happy I mean there's no really other way to put it I'm actually just happy Ooh. that's a big thing coming around the corner over there Uh, so I'm going to go to the... I think you know what I'm going to do? I'll go a different way into the thingy. No, I, I am just shocked. Last time I went to the doctors, last time I went to the GP, they almost had to call paramedics for me. Seriously, I'm not joking. I, the last time I tried, I ended up hyperventilating and having to, they had to put me in a room
on my own. And now I was able to just, I don't know, I don't know, it just worked. I'm happy to wait here until I can cross. There's no rush on it. I'm having a mellow day. What's the time? I think I'll make you up into town quite easily. If I'm going to town, I don't know. I don't know whether to go to town or to go to test. Go to Tesco first or to head into town first. I don't know. I could go for an entire explore around town. Hmm. I don't know. I've got an urge to go up to town before I go. I might go up to town and go in the mall. I'm going to cross. Beep, beep, sister. So. I think, yes, I will go to town. I think a little exploration of the town before I come back down and go into the meet will be a good thing. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'm sort of rambling, aren't I? I mean, I'm, I am rambling. I'm in a, I'm very, in a very happy place after doing that. Because the lifts inside the GP surgery are wonderful. They're like um, they're small, but they're quite big enough to have to take my, they're quite long. So this gets in there easily. E. Yay. We'll go up to town, we'll go for a wander. Have a little explore of Hanley. Ooh. Cross the road, yay! And then we're on the pedestrian side. Although we some, still got cars here, haven't we? We let's go. Beep beep. <laughs> we are. Turboing and turbo blowing some bubbles. Any bubbles in the air? Which one these two bollards? Make sure there's no cars coming. Cross over! Yay! Meow! Honk honk! Ooh, I shall cross over to this side so they can. <laughs> Oh, they're doing lots of work here. Lots of work. And for blowing some bubbles. Really bubbles in the air. We sigh. So I take up to the sky. Then we go. 
and go boom. Oh, pity. That's a pity. That's a pity. That's a pity. Because that place there used to be a. Oh, I think he pretty much shut down. Used to be an AD&D and um, miniature thing. You could go there and play AD&D games and everything. It was kind of cool and form groups and that. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they sort of opened up just before COVID hit. And um, a business where you come into the place and mingle with other people it, 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 it sort of died sort of died a little bit so we're going to go up here beep, beep. super speed that's what we've got here is super speed yes we are off we go through this turn. Beep, beep. They're over here, wandering around. Beep, beep. <laughs> I am having fun. So we're going to stop this video. We're going to do another video inside from here, going into the actual place. So let's um, just go here. It's actually a day where it's open. Last time I came in, went in though, I didn't know it was a actual... Um, I was on my Maxa, and I did not realise that it was actually a um, bank holiday. So let me stop this.